नमस्ते गाइस वेलकम टू द डे ट्वेंटी ऑफ द ट्वेंटी एट डेज डेटा साइंस ए आई जन ए आई चैलेंज वॉट वी आर स्टार्टेड सो आई हेड गॉट अ फीडबैक स्टेटिंग दैट कैन बी डू सम मोर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सी एन एन राइट सो वॉट आई हैव डन आई हैव गॉट अ डेटा ऑफ अमेजिंग डेटा सेट for skin cancer if you know skin cancer can be a very big issue because every hour a person dies of skin cancer but if it is detected earlier there's a very good chance the person might survive and he might be able to live a good life also so let's see whether we are able to do a good job of detecting skin cancer with help of cnn now people who don't know about cnn they can go and see the past videos right uh, it is it is the full form is a convolution neural network it is used to do a detection with the help of images right so let's go and see the slides okay so technically the skin cancer biological name is melanoma okay so we are going to detect melanoma but don't get confused it's skin cancer stuff okay so this is the different images what we have and melanoma looks something like this so this is something which we have to detect okay now convolution neural network as we know it is a it is something used to it is a deep learning kind of stuff it is used to do a good job in in processing images and you know, all which we have right now okay uh, we have a medical image uh, which we are analyze and it's a special features kind of stuff right so we are to do some level of data processing because we understand that in neural network we don't do data processing we do one level of data processing for standard scale and all but in convolution neural network we have to do some more steps right so we are going to i am going to show you that in the in the code too okay so we have done that so giving a very quick understanding of the data set we have 2357 images which is of 224 224 by 224 pixels okay we are going to normalize it to Number one, there are few challenges which we are going to, which I am going to, going to share. With the the thing is been divided by in eighty by twenty. Eighty is training data set, twenty is the testing data set. Okay. If you don't know the architecture of convolution neural network, you can go back and see the whole video of convolution neural network. But just for people, a quick recap: a convolution neural network consists of three important layers. Right. First is the convolution layer, the pooling layer, and the fully connected layer. Or you can also also call as the E N N at the end. Okay, so I'm going to take a pause here. If you have any questions on convolution neural network or any kind of stuff, do let me know. I'm happy to share my feedback on that. Now let's jump to the code. Okay, this C N N code what I was talking about for the detecting the skin cancer. Okay, so again, the code is divided into cells, and every cell has a title to explain what exactly is happening. The first line talks about the Discord server, the YouTube link, the GitHub link, the LinkedIn link. There are a lot of places where you can come forward and ask questions. So please don't shy. If you have any any query, please for come forward and ask your questions. So what I have done, I have input the required libraries. Then, as I was sharing, I have downloaded the data. I have kept the data in the Google Drive. So this is the Google Drive link. I have kept it open, so even you can access the data set. Right, and then I have extracted the data set. I have put forward the data, and then I have divided the data into two parts: the trained data set and test data set. Right, I have split the data set here. So I have made sure that the width is between the image height and width is 180 by 180. The batch size is 32. So I have taken all those stuff here. Then here I have done a very quick visualization of the random images what we have. Right, I have which I have shown in the slide also. Okay, remember in this only mal melanoma is the skin cancer which we have detected. Okay, then I have created my CNN model. I have taken my input layer. I have taken my con convolution layer. This is my convolution layer, the max pooling layer, and then the flattened, fully connected connected layer. Okay, so remember this. If you have any question, you can go back and look into my videos. Okay. of cnn model i have done few examples also on cnn model which can be helpful here too okay then i have compiled and trained the model okay and i have put forward the result here okay if you see here the training at the train accuracy and validation accuracy so the training accuracy has technically touched 80 to 85% at the same time my validation accuracy is fluctuating between 50 to 55% Okay, this is a very clear-cut example where you can say that it is a overfitting issue for sure, no doubt on that. Okay, and on the same side, if you see the accuracy, uh, the loss also, the training loss, the training loss is reducing drastically, like as the epochs are increasing. 
feedback it has it has reduced but the validation law is fluctuating and technical validation loss has increased also okay so it is a clear cut idea that it, it is overfitting okay now if you have seen my videos take a pause and think how i'm going to improve this model from here okay there are few tips and tricks which i would like to share here itself one you can add regularization okay two you can do the dropout the early stopping and dropout which i have done in one of the codes in the past right third very important which you can actually try is to do data augmentation okay what i will do i will create a video tomorrow with the help of some enhancement on this code okay but till that time take a pause do this take this code and try to replicate at your end okay if you want to do a bit more deeper or I want to understand a bit more deeper type in the comments i will happy to explain you much more in detail okay thank you if you are still here it means that you have finished the